New research coming out of the University of Utah today confirming the origin of COVID-19. University of Utah Health and an international team of researchers found that the earliest cases of COVID-19 in humans emerged at a wholesale fish market in Wuhan, China in December of 2019. New specialist Jed Bull has the details. This study actually narrows down the origin of the virus to specific animal stalls at that food market. But the co-author of this study at the University of Utah knows this is not the end of the discussion. All of the early genetic diversity of SARS-CoV-2 was associated with the market. When we first heard about COVID-19, the Huanan Seafood Wholesale Market in Wuhan was identified as a likely source. But Chinese officials dismissed that conclusion, while others suggested the virus came from a lab in Wuhan. Today's findings strongly suggest the virus originated in the market through live animal sales and slowly spread. Stephen Goldstein is a postdoctoral researcher and virologist at the U of U School of Medicine and co-author of the study. In the only place that, these, that this virus was circulating in December 2019 is the area immediately surrounding the Huanan Market, which is quite a distance away uh, from the Wuhan Institute of Virology. That's been uh, suspected as the source. They disprove the idea that the virus was circulating in Wuhan and then introduced to the market where there was a super spreader event. Goldstein says their research also refutes the possibility that the virus was spread by a lab worker. The findings are published in today's issue of Science Magazine. They linked cases to live mammals infected with the virus sold in the market either for consumption as meat or for their fur. These included animals such as raccoon dogs, badgers, hares and rabbits, uh, and foxes, all of which are known to be susceptible to infection with SARS-CoV-2. Two variants of the virus detected at the market. That suggests both variants originated independently and helps confirm the researcher's hypothesis that the early spread of the infection began there. If the virus originated elsewhere, it is more likely that only a single variant would have been found. I'm certainly under no illusion that we're going to completely, you know, stamp out competing narratives. Goldstein expects there are those who will dispute the findings of this study, but he says their research has already been peer reviewed. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowles.